and welcome to another episode of Multicultural Kitchen. This recipe is Peru's national dish, ceviche. So I decided to make this a very Peruvian dish since I'm going back to my country, I'm very excited about it. So I wanted to close the cycle of Peruvian recipes with something 100% Peruvian, which is our national dish, ceviche. Ceviche dates from 2000 years ago. It was created by the ancient Peruvians, the Mochicas. They used to make a, a similar dish called ceviche, which in Quechua means fresh fish. But instead of using lime, because lime was brought by, by the Spanish, they used a fruit called tumbo, which is very sour. So they marinated the fish with tumbo and put some chili on it. So that will give us the base of what we know as ceviche. Nowadays, ceviche, instead of tumbo, uses lime, or what we call lemon, and onions and of course it comes uh, accompanied with sweet potatoes corn and cancha so let's have a look at this amazing recipe it's ingredients time we need 400 grams of sea bass or sea ring fillet five or six limes depending on the size one red onion one whole red chili finely chopped Oil, sweet potato, and lettuce to decorate. Two tablespoons of coriander finely chopped. The secret for an authentic Peruvian ceviche is the leche de tere or tiger's milk. And for that matter, we need one cup of uh, fish broth, one celery stick, one clove of garlic, and a little piece of ginger, salt and pepper to taste and little pieces of raw fish. First of all, we're gonna cut the fish. Make sure your knife is very, very sharp. And also, if this is your fillet, okay, uh, do not use this part, okay? That, that will be like the belly of the fish because this part is, is not good, it doesn't have a good taste. So we're gonna use this part of the belly uh, to make our tiger's milk. Right, so we cut the fish in chunks. The, the squares, they have to be kind of chunky and about two centimeters long, right? Once we cut our fish, um, we put on the side all the leftovers that we won't use and we're gonna proceed to use it with the tiger's milk, which is the secret of a very good ceviche. I'm going to put some salt, let's add some salt, and pepper. Mix it very well, and once it's mixed, reserve it in the fridge while we match the rest of the ingredients. Cut your onions in julienne, just like this, and I'll give you a little secret. In order to make it crunchy, first of all, remove the, the middle part of the onion because it could be too sour, too bitter, sorry. And then put it in some ice water with salt, so that will give our onions a um, much crunchiness, which is very important for, for our ceviche. Here comes the fun part. We're going to make, make leche de tire or tiger's milk. What is that? Well, this is some sort of preparation uh, that gives our ceviche strength. Okay, A classic ceviche doesn't really have leche de tire. It generates after marinating the fish with the lime. However, when you prepare leche de tire, it's, it's more like street food kind of ceviche. Um, since the ingredients are not the same here than, than in Peru, then definitely we must make a leche de tigre so it gives more authenticity to our ceviche. So all you have to do is we're going to put our fish broth, which is already cold, yeah, please let it cool. Our celery sticks inside, cloves of garlic, piece of ginger, look it doesn't have to be that big, this the size of your thumb probably, and of course a piece of chili, salt, and pepper. Oops, sorry. And here's the secret. We put pieces of raw fish. Remember the parts of the fish that weren't edible? Well, they're very good for Leche de tigre. It's going to give it uh, a good texture, a good body. And now, time to blend everything. 
looks lovely already yeah look at the texture now so at this point check the seasoning check if it needs more salt more pepper more chili uh, Peruvian ceviche has to have chili okay if it doesn't have chili it's not Peruvian just don't abuse it though um, here if you want you can put a little bit of coriander but don't just don't blend it too much okay it's just a quick blend and that's it we're good to go one of the main ingredients for, for a good ceviche is lemon or lime in this case yeah so keep in mind a couple of things first of all you want it to be very juicy okay you don't want it to be too yellow or too green and in order to make it release the juice just press it against the table and roll it okay that'll help release the juices if not you can also soak them in in, in a bowl with water for a couple of hours when they're like this you know, without cutting them that also helps once you cut your lime or lemon in order to squeeze it okay don't squeeze it too hard because you just want to release the juice from the lemon or the lime inside not from the skin okay if you squeeze it too hard then you'll get the juices from the tannins from the skin and that is kind of sour better we don't want that okay do not leave the limes squeezed for too long, okay? They have to be freshly squeezed before we mix our ceviche. I can't believe I'm recording. This is my last time recording in Dublin. Which reminds me that one of the things that I'm going to miss the most about living in Ireland will be uh, how practical it is living here since, you know, it's a small city so you can walk or cycle everywhere. That's priceless. Um, I don't think I'll ever take the bus or the Lulas to go to work. I always walk there. So yeah, that's something that I'm going to miss. And the people, Irish people for me, happen to be the nicest people I've ever met. Keep it up, guys. Never change. Comes the fun part. Let's make our ceviche. So we have our fish already with salt and pepper. It has been reserved in the fridge. Our lime juice, freshly squeezed lime juice. And we proceed to put it inside, okay? It doesn't have to cover that much. And then... We shake it a little bit, stir it, let it mix. Uh huh. All right. At this point, we add chilies. If you're if you're not into spicy food, then definitely ceviche is not for you. Okay, it has to have a hint of spiciness. All right. Now let's add our tiger's milk. Here we go. Don't put too much because you don't want it. It's not a soup, all right? I mean, it has to be juicy, but not soupy. Very good. Look. Look at this beauty. Um, we're going to add now the onions. There we go. And mix it again. Now, um, ceviche, you, we usually eat fish ceviche, which is this one, the classic one, or... Uh, mixto, which will be like fish and seafood. Yeah, it's up to you how to make it. And that's it, guys. It's ready to eat. But before you serve it, make sure you check uh, check your seasoning. How's your salt, your pepper, uh, the chilies? Let's see. Hmm. Perfect. Hey okay, guys, time to serve. So you usually use a bowl and not as um, deep as this one, but it'll do. Okay, try not to use a shallow one, okay, because of the juice. Yeah, here we go. Now we serve it. Ceviche has to be eaten immediately, okay? It's a fresh dish, so do not let it sit there for, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, because it's horrendous. It won't be ceviche then. All right, something like that. Let's put some more tiger's milk here. Oh yeah, beautiful, deadly. Now the best, um, in Peru, we never eat ceviche at night. This is something very interesting because a lot of tourists, when they go, they don't mind about eating ceviche at night, okay? However, you will never see Peruvians eating ceviche at night because it has to be made with fresh fish. And fresh fish, fish is never fresh at night. All right. Now we decorate with some coriander. Actually, I'm going to put some more onions before the coriander. All right, some extra onions, some coriander. And if you happen to have some sort of corn that we call in Peru cancha, yes, serve it with it. 
it's traditional to start with this corn, cancha. Uh, it's very difficult to find in Ireland. That's why I, I didn't put it in the recipe book. I had a little bit, so you guys can see how it looks like. It gives some sort of crunchiness. It's actually gorgeous. There you go, guys. Our ceviche is ready to eat. Hope you guys have enjoyed that recipe and thank you very, very much for joining us every Friday for a new episode of Multicultural Kitchen. That's it for now from Ireland. Um, see you next time. Enjoy your cooking. Bye-bye.